Welcome to Wildlife Wednesday. Today we are talking about scat. That's right, animal poop. You might be thinking, ew, why would anybody study animal poop? Well, scat is a sign left behind by animals and it can tell us a lot about what animals have been in the area and also about what different animals are eating at different times of the year. So I'm gonna teach you a little bit about scat and show you how you can make a model of your very own animal poop. So when you find scat, there are a few clues you can use to help you identify who left it. One is size. In general, the bigger the scat, the bigger the animal. Another clue is habitat. Where are you? What animals would be able to find food and shelter here? Another clue is other signs. Are there tracks or bits of fur around that can give you more clues? Number four is contents. If you're brave enough to look inside, the contents of the scat can tell you a lot about the animal and what it ate. A final clue is shape. Some characteristics are common to different groups of animals. Herbivores, or plant eaters for example, have small round scat that's full of plant matter. Carnivores, or meat eaters, tend to be tapered at the end and have a signature carnivore twist. Scientists think this is to protect their intestines from bones. Omnivore scat, so our meat and plant eaters, can vary greatly depending on the species, the diet, and the time of year. So to make your scat, you're gonna need oatmeal, not the instant kind, a little bit of water, and some cocoa powder. This will be the base of your scat. For the contents of your scat, get creative. I think I'm gonna make fox scat because I've been seeing that all over on my hikes around Helena. And foxes this time of year are eating a lot of grasshoppers. So I'm gonna crunch up noodles to look like exoskeletons from those grasshoppers. They also might grab a rabbit or a small rodent. So I'm gonna rip up some cotton balls to be fur in my scat. And foxes might even eat berries. So I have some craisins I'm gonna put in there as well. So I take my scat making very seriously. So I always reference my field guide. I have a red fox here, and it even tells me how long it usually is. So I'm gonna make sure mine is about 50 to 90 millimeters long. So the first thing you're gonna do is put some of that oatmeal on your tray. Then you're gonna add just a little bit of water. The next thing you're gonna do is add a little bit of cocoa powder for color and mix it in. All right, so now that the scat is the consistency and color that we're looking for, I can add my contents. So we got the fur from the rabbits, we've got the craisins for the berries that it was eating, and these noodles are gonna be the exoskeleton or maybe even bones, so I'm gonna mix those in. So I've got all my contents in there. I'm gonna give it that twist that we talked about, maybe a little tapered end and I'm gonna make sure it's just as long as the field guide said it might be. So this looks pretty good, about 90 millimeters. So there you have it. That's how you can make your very own model of scat. You can make any kind of scat you want. Maybe it'll be a bear scat or elk scat or fox scat like me. Um, use your field guide for inspiration. And if you do make some scat, be sure to send us a picture. We'd love to see it. So thanks for coming to Wildlife Wednesday and we'll see you next week.